What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video I want to show you how to put a tracking pixel on any page from Clickmagic even if the page is not yours. Now this is incredibly useful if you want to fine tune your ads and you want to see which ads or which ad sets or whatever it is, which traffic source works best for you. So the problem right now is, and by the way I have a table of contents, so if you already know what the problem is and you want to skip down to the action, just take a look at the table of contents down below. But let me show you what I mean by, by why this is a challenge for us So, and why this is necessary to do. So. Uh, this is our main landing page, okay? So let me just show you. Let me put this this link uh, into a new window here. So I'll put that in, and I'm going to separate it by sub IDs like we did in one of our previous videos, and I'll say, you know, Facebook ad two, okay? To let me know that, hey, this traffic is coming from Facebook, it's coming from ad two. So as I go through this process, as I fill in all the details, go to my thank you page, and then go to actually this page. Now this page I have no control over. This is not my page. I can't really put a pixel here. So I should be pretty stumped because how do I track how many people went to this page so that I can optimize it? Looks like I can't. But so let's let's take a look. So over here you see um, we had 100% action because the we signed up to get to the thank you page, right? We put in our email. And then if I click on this, I'll be able to see, hey, people from Facebook add two they signed up, 100% of the people signed up. However, if I go to this page is the main page, right? So that's this, this page right here, right? So if I go here and I click on this thing, nothing, there's no data. So right now it's, it's, it's pretty obvious that one person went here, but what happens when you have 200 clicks here and you have five people landing on this page? How do you know which ads or which traffic sources contributed to people landing on this sales page. That's what we're trying to solve, okay? So let me show you how you can do that. So first thing we need to do is we need to actually create a tracking link for that site. So all we're gonna do, uh, here was our offer. All you're gonna do is take your actual affiliate link. Now, this, this looks like it's cloaked, but you would take your affiliate link and you would put it here. Right, and you would create a separate uh, create new link. You would put in, you know, your your tracking link, whatever it is. You know, you can name it, you know, test, whatever it is. Put it into a test group, and and that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's step one. Step two, we need to go here, and we need to say show advanced settings, and we need to say yes, this is the front end of a funnel. So let's go there, and let's click save changes. Next thing we need to do is we need to go here and go to advanced settings again. So before we do that, actually, let's grab our tracking pixel. So I'm going to say track conversions and this one, let's do it engagement pixel, right? How many people went to your sales page? So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go here, I'm going to go to advanced settings and then I'm going to scroll down and right here where it says pixel code, I'm going to insert that code. And so what that's going to do, ClickMagic will create another page where they will insert that pixel, right? They're not going to insert the pixel on this exact page. They're going to create another redirect page. And I'll, and, I'll, and I'll show you what that looks like. So then I'll click Save Changes. So now that we've done that, now let's see just how effective and how useful this is going to be. So first of all, let me probably just resell my cookies, leave that page, and I will reset the stats, okay? So that was option one you just saw. So let's compare that with option two and I'll, I'll use a different browser. So I'm gonna take that. Okay, so actually before we test it out, one more thing we need to do is we need to go on this link and we need to say attribute conversions to this link and the front end link, right? So now this is our front end link. It's the front end of the funnel, which will track everything all in one line. That's exactly what we want. And we need to say conversions need to be attributed to the front end link as well. So we can actually analyze that data. And let's go back and click save. Okay, so now let's try it out. So I'll take this tracking link that I'll be giving out to people, giving out to anyone. I'll post it there and I'll say Facebook or Google or, you know, whatever it is you want to track, add to. I'll click show me how, enter the email. Okay, so see that, that little redirect page there? So that was because on this page, you will actually not see any, any uh, pixel because we can't, it's not our page. 
But what, what we did do was we put a pixel on a little redirect page. So before loading this one, that other page loaded and fired the pixel. So let's now go back and let's see how what, what that looks like. So there you go. As you can see, it has an engagement. And why is this useful? Well, if we click on this, we can see Facebook ad two resulted in an engagement. So now we can optimize our ads, optimize our campaigns, and we can see what's causing what so we can spend more time and more money on these successful ads or, or traffic sources as opposed to the ones that are generating zero. Okay, so I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.